Hi everybody, welcome to Vijayasav Foundation. My name is Manoj Swaminathan and today we are going to learn about the role of information technology or IT in pharmacovigilance. For those of you who are already working in pharmacovigilance, you can appreciate the role of IT, right? So everything is about systems, even for data entry you use software and uh, you archive documents using softwares. You have a document management system, quality management system, and so on, right? So it is all about IT. So without IT support, you wouldn't be able to manage pharmacovigilance effectively. Now let us learn about each of these roles in detail. First and foremost, it is the infrastructure. Now you would have a pharmacovigilance team who would need access to the laptops or the computer systems or what we call as PC and uh, also they would need the proper network and you also need servers you need to get connected and uh, apart from pharmacovigilance this also serves to the medical information team where you can get connected to the phones right so something which is a globalized concept so that way infrastructure plays a very important role and this is obviously facilitated by your IT team. Next comes coding. Now you might wonder why coding is important in pharmacovigilance. So first and foremost if you are using a safety database then you would need some SQL coding so that you can get the targeted results. So that way there is some kind of coding right configuration and so on. So that way coding plays a very important role. Apart from this you also can see on the left there are some barcodes right or the QR codes. So what are these for? For identifying the product, ensuring that there are no product complaints, ensuring that there are no counterfeit or falsified or spurious medicines and this can also reduce the incidence of adverse drug reactions. So that way even coding plays a very important role in pharmacovigilance and again it is facilitated by your IT team. Then comes the systems, most important right. So when you say systems this can include the safety database right where you record adverse events then even the medical information database where you record the medical inquiries then you can even have archival facilities. Right? So it can be electronic, primarily electronic. Right? So if it is uh, say hard copy archival, it won't be under the purview of IT. But then if it is electronic archival, then it will be the IT team. Apart from this, the various quality management systems. Right? So it can be related to document management, it can be related to change control, CAPA, deviation management and so on. For all these activities, IT system is very important, right? And that is where your IT department plays a very important role in facilitating such systems for your day-to-day -day activity. Now, Computer Software Assurance, also called as CSA. Does this ring any bell? So this is what was called as CSV in the past or Computer system validation. Now everything has changed and now it is called CSA. This is to ensure that the system you are using is a validated one. So if you are talking about a safety database, is it validated document management system or quality management system or archival systems are all of these validated, right? So this is again something which is facilitated by the IT team. Now it is not only the IT team out here, so it will be IT in conjunction to the quality team, right? So it is a quality plus IT function that is CSA or Computer Software Assurance. So next time if somebody says CSV, then you should correct them and say it is now CSA, okay? Then data migration. IT plays a very important role in data migration. Sometimes you want to upgrade your systems 
ओल्ड वर्जन ऑफ द सेफ्टी डेटा बेस टू न्यू यू मे नीड अ डेटा माइग्रेशन और इन केस ऑफ मर्जर एंड एक्विजिशन वैर यू हैव सेफ्टी डेटा फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस कंपनी एंड देन यू नीड टू माइग्रेट ऑल दैट इन टू द पेरेंट डेटा बेस यू मे नीड टू डू दैट दिस कैन इवन हैपन वैन यू एक्वायर प्रोडक्ट्स राइट अ फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनी एक्वायरिंग प्रोडक्ट्स सेफ्टी डेटा कम्स अलॉन्ग सो यू नीड समबडी हु कैन माइग्रेट दिस डेटा इन टू द पेरेंट सेफ्टी डेटा बेस दिस इल इवन अप्लाई टू द मेडिकल इन्फॉर्मेशन डेटा बेस और इवन द क्वालिटी कंप्लेन डेटा बेस सो दैट वे आई टी प्लेस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन डेटा माइग्रेशन देन बी सी पी सो वॉट इज बी सी पी इट इज अबाउट बिजनेस कंटिन्यूटी प्लानिंग राइट सो इन द कोविड सिनेरियो वी हैव सीन दैट दैट वन फाइन डे ऑल ऑफ अस वेट ओल्ड टू वर्क फ्रॉम होम and that is where we had to ensure there is continuity in work right because timelines are timelines if there are 15 day or 7 day timelines you need to submit them right or you need to submit the case report so you don't have extra time and that is where business continuity plays a very important role irrespective of where you are you should have access to your systems and also access to the network and doing the work efficiently so this also adds to disaster recovery so what if there is a fire in one of your servers what are you going to do either you have a backup server or else you can activate your disaster recovery portal then you may have backups in other parts of the country in a different seismic zone or even in different countries from where you can access the data and you can continue your work so that way disaster recovery and business continuity planning is extremely important by by the way bcp is also business contingency planning so don't get confused about it then automation automation is not always about artificial intelligence but it can even be a simple automation something where you can automate stuff using excel you can use formulae and you can automate stuff something like that even you can do for managing certain documents where you can automate stuff right so it can be a simple automation or at times it can even be more complex one where you use artificial intelligence machine learning and so on so even automation is something which is driven by the it team so they will help with simplifying the work right so that is something especially the things which you do repeatedly you can automate so that way it plays an important role then integration so what do you mean by integration it is primarily about combining or integrating systems right so there are two or more systems and you want to integrate them so that you can improve the efficiency so this can happen with the safety database itself you can integrate it with the document management system so that it can pull out the source documents or uh, you talk about psmf where it can the psmf can be integrated with your quality management system or the hr management system the safety database and so on so that way integration also plays a very important role in pharmacovigilance and again this is one activity which is facilitated by the it team so integration also plays a very important role in merger and acquisition where you have acquired a company right imagine you are working for a pharmaceutical company and you have acquired another company now you have all the safety data now you want to integrate everything right so something you can do and then you can do data migration and so on so that way the most important aspect of integration is the connecting connection between the systems so if there is synergy or you want to pull data why do it manually right so automation is added to this and you integrate it so this is the way it works again facilitated by the it team so future what is it going to be in the future right so it is going to be all about robots artificial intelligence machine learning and simplifying stuff again which department is going to play a very important role here it is obviously the it team right the information technology team so that way the it team will 
help you in expediting work and also doing things more efficiently how about the career aspects are there any specific qualifications for getting into pharmacovigilance it in my opinion no because i have seen physicians pharmacists engineers all of them getting into it sometimes even you may have other graduates learning it or doing some it course and getting into pharmacovigilance it so that way it's very lucrative and you would appreciate that the it department plays a very important role in the pharmacovigilance i trust you found this topic to be very useful and interesting feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions comments or even suggestions thank you